Hi, it's David Williams from Okanagan College, and this is part two of the product of sum expressions tutorial. And I'm going to give you another example of converting a truth table into POS form, and then a, a simple example of converting a truth table into both SOP and POS form, and showing you that they are equivalent using Boolean algebra. So I've got this truth table already created over created over here, and I've got three inputs S, T, and U. And in the table, I've got all of eight possible combinations of inputs. And then for each one of those inputs, I've got an output value for the output signal W. And what we're going to do for this POS example is convert this truth table into a POS product of sums Boolean algebra expression. So the first thing that you do, first thing that we're going to do for converting this truth table into the POS expression is to identify all of the rows where the output is a zero. So those three rows are, have an output of zero. And then for each one of these rows, look at the value of all three of the input variables, or all the input variables. And when the input variable is a zero, like it is for the S here, then we just use the S in its not inverted form. T is a zero, so we use the T in its not inverted form, and use a one so we use it in its inverted form. And those three terms are then ORed together. So down here for this row, S is a 1, so we use it in its inverted form. T is a 0, so it's a not inverted form. And U is a 1, so it's in the inverted form. And for the third row, S is a 1, so it's in the inverted form. T is a 1, so it's in the inverted form. And U is a 0, so it's not inverted. And the last step, we take these three sum expressions and we combine them in a, in, a, in a product expression and we end up with W is equal to the first expression, S or T or not U, ended with second expression, not S or T or not U, ended with the third sum expression not S or not T or U. So there we have it. There's this other example truth table in SOP form. So since we had three rows that were zero, we're going to have three sum terms in our expression, and each one of those sum terms is anded together. All right. Now, let's look at an example, a much a much simpler example, so just a two-variable input example. And we'll convert it both into SOP and POS form. Okay, so two inputs, A, B, and output C. So all of the different combinations, all the possible combinations of inputs And the outputs for this particular truth table look like this, 1, 0, 0, 1. So we'll do the um, product form and the sum form. So for this, for, for each for each one of the rows where it's at, where it is applicable. So the product form only applies to the the rows where the outputs are one, and the sum form only applies to the rows where the inputs are zero. So the first row here, the output is a one, so this will be in the product form. And so when we're doing product uh, sum of products, if the variable is a zero, then we use the inverse of the variable. Let's go down to the bottom row too, because we're doing we'll do all the products first, and if the if the product, if, if the variable is a 1, then we just use the variable in its, in its regular form. So here, these two rows are not applicable. Over here for the sum, the first row is not applicable because the output's a 1. The second and third rows are applicable because the output's a 0. So here's the second row, the output's a 0. The input A is a 0, so we use A in its, oops, in its not inverted form. And it's ORed with B in the inverted form. And the third row 
the variable a is a 1, so it's in this inverted form, and the variable b is a 0, so it's in the not inverted form. So from those two, from these two columns, we can make the sum of products expression and the product of sums expression. So here's the sum of here's the product of sums expression using using this product column and the sum of products expression. The two products are simply ORed together. And the product of sums expression also equal to C. And it's A or not B. And did with not A or B. So just based on the fact that these two expressions are derived from the same truth table, we know that this expression here and this expression here are equivalent, but let's let's prove that using some Boolean algebra. So we'll we'll use distribution to to multiply these two terms together. So we've got we've got a times not a, ORed with a times b, ORed with not b times not a. ORed with not B times B. So if you remember your Boolean algebra rules, any variable anded with the inverse of itself becomes zero. So both of those terms become zero. And any term ORed with zero is just that term, so those zero we can just ignore those zeros, and all we're left with is A, B, or not A not B. So that term, you can see that that term and that term are essentially the same. I just changed the order of the two products around. So hopefully that gives you an idea of, of product of sums and, and the relationship between product of sums and sum of products expressions. And if you have any questions, you can ask your instructor.